Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to change menu music in Guitar Hero 3 and to do that you will need a program called FSBX that you can download from the description. So let's get started. Go to one of your drives, for example C, and create a new folder named Streams. Okay, now go to the GH3 install directory, program files x86, Asper, Guitar Hero 3, Data, Streams, and copy the bigger file streamall.fsb.zen. And of course, don't forget to make a backup of this file somewhere. Unzip fsbx and copy the executable. And now create a new folder called custom. Press start R, type cmd, type cd, space, backslash, streams, enter. And if you have created this folder on the D drive, for example, then just type D column and you run the D drive, then do the same thing CD space backslash streams. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the C drive, go to streams, and now copy the first command from the description right click to paste hit enter and wow wow what we've got there basically it mostly consists of uh, tutorial audio files a really huge amount for all of the languages this is no tiene ningún misterio this is some interesting file he said the faster the better it's not in the english tutorial so now you know you have those intro guitar leaks, such as... Wow. And the most importantly, the menu music. Nice. And the interesting thing is that there are two unused menu songs, such as rock and roll all night and rock it like a hurricane basically there are six menu songs so you can replace all of them with just one song or with six different songs well you could use some unmodified audio file but we're gonna do some magic uh, to make it sound like it was created by Activision. Let's open Outer City, drop an audio file here, and for example, this is gonna be. Wow, it's so loud. It's before I forget. Let me play that song again. You can hear. You can hear that effect. And in the description I put two audio files to download. The first one is intro, which we're gonna put right here, and outro. Okay, now use this tool to move this thing to the end of the song. Delete this. Uh, I'm just gonna okay, hold control and scroll to move this to zoom this. And here we have a timeline, so we're gonna move this to the second, second, second mark. Okay. And this one here. Right at the end. Now we're gonna amplify this one to like minus, minus 12. Alright, and now this one, like minus, minus 5. Now we're gonna add some fancy effect to the song. Click here, click effect, add reverb, 
all the values default and click OK. Now let's do the same thing but now with 0% tone high. OK and repeat it one more time. Nice. Sounds pretty good in my opinion. But if you can find some better reverb uh, volumes, then just let me know in the comments. Okay, so now let's export this. Uh, it must be saved as MP3. Save it somewhere. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna use this one since I already have prepared a few files. Okay, so we'll now we need those six audio files named just like those original files right here uh, before I forget and so on. And notice that all the audio files that you have must be uh, in 44.1 kilohertz something rate and 16 bit though I really don't know how to check that but all the audio files that Audacity creates work in Guitar Hero, so you don't really need to worry about that. Copy this here. Replace files. Now go a level higher and delete this file. Stream all .fsb.zen, the big one. Yes. So now let's go back to the common menu and copy the second command, which is different. The only thing different here is the R parameter. That means rebuild, rebuild, re. And now we have the all new stream all file that we can copy. And let's go to the Guitar Hero folder and paste it right here. Cool. Now let's check if it works. It does. Thanks for watching. Have fun.